The gymnastics team continues to stick the landing, scoring their season high in the pink meet with senior co-captain Sydney Krasa leading, leading the way for the second straight meet on the vault. Deja Chamblis along with Krasa both tied for third place on the podium. Both Simone Bannon on bars and Anna Warhol on the vault scored career highs in the meet, along with first-year Hannah Minnelli achieving her own personal best score on the bars with a 9.850 score, earning her a third-place spot on the podium for the first time in her collegiate career. The momentum slowly faded as the team fell by only two points to Kent State in the following matchup. Despite the close loss, our first year come up, Hannah Minnelli, secured an identical 9.800 score on the vault alongside Chamblis. The women went on to secure a third place title at the New Hampshire meet with Bannon leading the pack on the vault, followed by sophomore duo Chamblis and Olivia Raymond both scoring 9.675 on the vault. The team came in second place at the University of Denver meet, again with Chamblis leading the pack, and again in second place at their most recent sweet meet here in Foggy Bottom. Joining us here at the desk is our gymnastics correspondent, Micah Banks. Micah, what do you see going into the remainder of the season? Yeah, aspirations are still high. GW is not currently in the top 36 national rankings, which are needed to make the national tournament um, on March 23rd. However, they're still sitting fourth in the Eastern Atlantic Gymnastics Division with plenty of room for improvement left with four meets remaining. Um, some positives are Simone Bannon just posted her first career 9.9 .9 on the beam after this last meet. And also, co-captain Sydney Crossa finally broke over the hump, uh, earning her first 9.9 .9 after five scores of 9.875 in the past. So with four meets left, there's still plenty of ground to make up, but plenty of time to make up that ground, and the team will look to gain some points to their average before it's time for nationals. So Micah, how do you see this team stacking up against um, the other teams moving forward? Well, you know, GW's made the national tournament every year since 2015. So for coach Margie Foster Cunningham, that's definitely a goal of hers. Um, and like I said, there's still some time to, to make up that, that ground, but I think that this motivated team will, will look to make it. Yeah, um, and then two of the names that stick out for me are Sydney Krasa and Deja Chamblis. Every single you know, record that comes up, their names are there. Um, how do you see those two women kind of steering the team in the right direction? Yeah, you're right on it. Those are definitely two of the most talented gymnasts on this team. Like you said, after every meet, their names are the ones in the papers. And I think they're really going to have to rely on them to carry the weight as this season goes on. But um, it's, it's their time to shine. Thank you so much, Micah. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Don't go away. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at GW-TV. Or check out more packages and exclusive content like our interviews with the cross-country team and the tennis teams over on our Instagram page at GWTV underscore unstoppable. See you next time!